Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making this dress. The weight is finally here. So we are going to make this dress for our beautiful princess. These dresses I'm making to this for one to two years old child. In my previous video, I have shown how you can adjust your pattern paper. So today we are going to put everything together. I'm going to show you how to cut your raffle sleeve. And I'm going to show you how your lining can show at the edge of your raffle sleeve. And this dress has invisible zipper at the center back. And I also lining the dress. You can decide to line in your dress. You can decide not to. It's a step by step tutorial. If you don't want to line in your raffle sleeve, there is a different way to also do it. I've also made this dress. It's a beautiful fire orange lace dress. Oh my God. I'm so in love with this dress. You cannot always hem your raffle sleeve you just fold it inside and then fold it again and give it a top stitch all around but today we are making this one please do like our video i have noticed that a lot of people watch our video but they don't press the like button please do press the like button so that youtube can push us out to the algorithm a lot of people can see our video and appreciate the work i'm putting right here subscribe if you haven't thumbs up on our video comment down below if you have any question i will definitely do my best i will respond to your comment so let's get started i have cut out my fabric this is how it is and i've cut out the front bodies you can see that i write front because if i'm putting them together so that i know that this is the front i don't mix putting the back on the front and the front on the back make sure to write on the front and when i'm putting them together i will also show you how i put this side together so that i know that i don't make a mistake when i'm joining them together so i've cut out my front and this is my sleeve i will show you how to cut your sleeve make sure you cut the lining and the main fabric sleeve okay and this is the back two pieces like i said before this is two pieces this is two pieces and this is my lining i also cut it out and this is my lining top body so i'm going to use this to line in the dress like i mentioned when i was making the pattern paper the lining does not need any adjustment you can see how the lining is just cut it out the way normally making a sleeveless dress and i've also cut out my skirt i have cut out the male fabric and i've also cut out the lining so when you are cutting your lining make sure that your lining is shorter than your male fabric so for my lining i'm going to remove one inch or 2.5 centimeter when i'm joining them together so let's join the dress together first thing that you have to do you bring out your top body this is the front and this is the back so i'm going to remove the paper so what you're going to do you put the back outside you take this side of the fabric this is the side of the fabric that will cut into two so what you're going to do you take a pin just place a pin in between the fabric so that you know that this is the front of the fabric okay and this other side you know that this is the front side of the fabric because you can see that this and this are almost the same if you don't use a marker or a pin you can make a mistake and put the back on the front and the front on the back so the best way you can either take a marker and mark that or take a pin and place a pin so that i know that the pin side is the front while the one with no pin is the back so this is the front so what i'm going to do i am going to open the front when i was making the pattern paper i said the front is also going to be on fold make sure that it's on fold open the front this is the front of my fabric and i will take the back pieces this is the front i am going to put the both shoulder seam together like this and i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that you take these other pieces like this and you take the back you're going to put the both shoulder seam together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other so i will put them together like this both shoulder seam together and i will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the shoulder seam 
and I will take these other pieces also put them together like this take it to my sewing machine and stitch the shoulder seam together once you have done that you take your lining you open your lining make sure that both front fabric are facing each other you are going to put the both shoulder seam together put them together like this take it to your sewing machine and top stitch and you place the other shoulder seam take it to your sewing machine and top stitch once you have done that take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart I have stitched the both shoulder seam together this is how it is and I take it to my ironing board I press the seam apart and I've also stitched this side of the bodies together I take it to my ironing board I press the seam apart and I've also stitched my lining I take it to my ironing board I press the seam apart the next thing that we have to do we are going to take a measurement we are going to measure this all the way down so that we know the fabric that we are going to cut first thing that you have to do you place your measuring tape you just go ahead and measure it all the way down mine is 39 and half centimeter or 15 and half inches once you measure it like that you can either times that by 2 or 1.5 so i am going to times mine by 1.5 and i'm going to add 10 centimeter to that or if you times it by inches times it by 1.5 and then add about four inches to that so that you have a little bit of volume to for the raffles so when i'm tying it that by 1.5 plus 10 centimeter i am going to be taking the measurement of 34 centimeter 0.5 so what i'm going to do i am going to measure 35 centimeter so i have cut out my fabric so i'll place my measuring tape like this this is 35 centimeter all the way down you also measure the other side 35 centimeter when you're cutting your fabric measure is on fold mine is on fold because i don't have a long fabric i have to stitch it right here it is okay nobody can really say that so the length that i have here is 8.5 centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 3.25 inch or three and a half inches so what i'm going to do i am going to take my may fabric this is my may fabric right here it's unfold and make sure you're cutting two pieces what you are going to do you're going to make sure that your may fabric is shorter than your lining so that the lining fabric can show at the front of your raffles once you're done stitching them together the way i take my measurement for my may fabric i take seven and a half centimeter if you're using inches you can measure three inch and you also repeat the same process on this side seven and a half centimeter or you can measure three inch so i will take my lining fabric i will put them together and i'm going to cut this excess out and i'll pick the second pieces put them together i'm going to cut this excess out I have cut the excess out this is how it is the next thing that i'm going to do i am going to join the fabric together so i will put the main fabric at the bottom and i will join them together like this make sure that they are matched and i am going to secure the board fabric with my pin once you have secured that with a pin the next thing that you have to do you take your arm hook off place it like this you are going to curve it out so you just place your arm hook off like this you go ahead and use your marker or your pen this pen when you iron in the pen will just disappear from your fabric so i will place it like this and then i will go ahead and curve it out once you have covered it out the next thing that you have to do you take your scissors you go ahead and cut it out i have cut my sleeve and i put them together so this is how you should put them together when you put them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other okay and when you're putting them together you put you're going to be stitching the bottom edge not the top edge that you curved out you are stitching the bottom edge and you also repeat the same process with the second sleeve put them together make sure that both front fabric are facing each other 
you are going to be stitching the bottom edge, not the top edge. Once you're done stitching, turn your sleeve inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. So when you are pressing your sleeve, this is the male fabric. You can see that the male fabric is shorter than the lining. So you are going to push the male fabric to the top edge like this and iron it very, very nice. Then the lining fabric will, will be showing on the male fabric. So that is the blue fabric that you see on the picture when I show how the sleeve looks. Once you have done that, then you will now go ahead and stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your sleeve. You also repeat the same process with this other one. Once you have done that, you take your skirt. So this is my skirt right here. I am going to put both front fabric together. This is my front fabric. This is my front fabric. Take the basket, put them together. Take it to your sewing machine. You are going to be stitching the side seam with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. And I will also come to this other side, put the both side seam together and I will stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my overlocker, overlock the both side seam raw edges. Once I have overlocked the side seam raw edges, I will stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of the skirt. And I will also repeat the same process with the lining. Pin the both side seam together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges and also stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt. Make sure that you stitch it together before overlocking the both raw edges. Go ahead and stitch them together. I have stitched my sleeve I turn it inside I'll give it a good press this is how it will look once you have done that you can see the blue fabric is showing at the front of my fabric this is the male fabric the lining is not showing at the front of my fabric this is how it will look once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you put them together and so that you know the mid part of your sleeve this is the mid part of my gathered sleeve that i'm going to gather on both sides of this top dress that we are making before you gather it on both sides what you are going to do you take your measuring tape or your ruler you are going to measure from the waistline because we have to attach our skirt so you place your measuring tape or your ruler i'm going to take a measurement of 1.3 centimeter or half an inch so you mark that you come to this other side you repeat the same process you measure 1.3 centimeter or half an inch you mark that and then you also come down to the back repeat the same process 1.3 centimeter or half an inch once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you pick your fabric like this make sure that both front fabric are facing each other and you are going to pull them together you pin the mid part at the shoulder seam the mid part make sure you pin it at the shoulder seam and then you come to the end of the sleeve so you are going to pin it together you pick it like this so you are going to push this edge facing out make sure it doesn't push it in because when you push it in once you're done stitching and you put all the dresses together the edges will be showing at the front of the dress you don't want that to happen push it out and then secure that with a pin and then come to this other side you repeat the same process pick your top dress push it out the edges make sure it's pushing out and then you secure that with a pin so what you're going to do this is what you are going to gather you just go ahead and gather it at the side of the dress gather it at the side of the top dress take your pin pin them together and then you also repeat the same process with this other side of the top dress 
I have pinned it all the way down. This is how it is. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and give it a top stitch all around. My seam allowance is not up to one centimeter when I'm stitching the raffle sleeve at the side of this top dress. So once I have stitched it together, what I am going to do, I will take my other side of the fabric, other side of the top dress. This is the front. Remember, we put a pin or if you have a marker, you can put a marker right there. So what I'm going to do, I will just turn it like this. I'll make sure that this is the front and the front is going to be facing each other. I will put them together like this. Both shoulder seam mashed and then I will pin it all the way down. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it all around. Once I am done with that, I will remove my gather stitch thread. And I will also turn to this other side. This is the front. I put a pin right here. So I will turn it like that. Make sure the front is on the front side. The back is on the back side. And both front fabric will be facing each other. So this will be the front of my fabric. I'm going to place it like this. This is the shoulder seam and this is the seam. Don't make a mistake and put them together like this. Make sure it is like this. So the seam will be facing you. While the front right here is on the front side, the back is on the back. Put them together, pin it in place, and take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. So when I'm stitching this time, my seam allowance will be one centimeter. Once I am done stitching, I will remove my gather stitch thread. I have stitched it together. This is how it look right now. And I'll also top stitch at the top edge right here. Make sure you top stitch. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our lining on top of it. So you put your lining on top of it like this. You are going to stitch around the neckline and also around the arm hole. So what I'm going to do, I'll first measure my seam allowance inside. My seam allowance is 1.5 centimeter that is my zipper seam allowance remember to measure that inside when you are stitching so what i'm going to do i will pin it all around start from here and end on this other side once i am done with that i will take my scissor snip around the neckline and push the seam towards the lining and on the stitch the neckline once i am done on the stitching the neckline I will use the opportunity to pin the both arm hole together and stitch around the both arm hole. Once I am done stitching the both arm hole, I will take my scissor snip around the arm hole, trim a little bit tight from the seam allowance, turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. I have stitched around the neckline and I've also stitched around the armhole. I take it to my ironing board. I just give it a nice good press. This is how it looks. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch the side seam of the top dress that we are making. So you have to put your own side seam top dress together like this. Main fabric facing each other, lining facing each other. What you are going to do, you are going to pin the both side seam together once you have done pinning the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch the size seam with your seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric go ahead and stitch the size seam together my size seam seam allowance is one centimeter and then I will come down to this other side I will repeat the same process I will pin it together and stitch the size seam with one 
centimeter. I have stitched the side seam of my top dress. I take it to my ironing board, I give it a good press and make sure you open the seam apart. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to gather our skirt on the waistline of this top dress. So I will just turn my top dress like this and I will pick my skirt. This is my skirt, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. The front of your top dress, the front of your skirt, they are facing each other. And you pull the thread aside. This is my side seam of my skirt. And I will pick my top dress. I will put the both side seam together and secure that with a pin. And I will come to the other side. I will repeat the same process. This is the side seam of my skirt and the side seam of my top dress. Put them together, secure that with a pin. And then you just go ahead and start pinning your skirt around the waistline of your top dress. So this will be the center back of my top dress. So I am going to pin them together. Once you have put them together, you start to gather your skirt around the waistline of your top dress. When you are pinning them together, make sure you separate your lining. As you can see, I've separated my lining. Once I am done gathering the male fabric together, I will also pick my lining and I will pin my lining at the waistline of my top dress lining and I will gather it together and I will show you how my look once I am done pinning everything together. I have pinned my both skirt together. This is how it is. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. Once I am done stitching, I will remove the gather stitch thread. I will take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges. If you don't have overlocker, you can always use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. And I will also use the opportunity to overlock the center back raw edges. So when I'm going to top stitch, I'm going to be stitching with half an inch or 1.3 centimeter. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric, you stitch your skirt together. I have stitched my skirt together. This is how it is. And I take it to my overlock. I overlock the raw edges, both the lining and the main fabric. This is how it look once you have done that. And I've also overlocked the center back raw edges for the main fabric. And for the lining, I also overlock the center back raw edges. You can see that I've already placed my zipper at the center back. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and top stitch. So when you pin your zipper at the center back, I'm using invisible zipper. You can use any zipper of your choice. It doesn't have to be invisible zipper. When you pin your zipper at the center back, make sure that you thread your needle, use hand stitch to stitch it first before you take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. So when you do that, when you're stitching, you have a very nice and perfect finish when you stitch your zipper at the center back. So once I am done stitching my zipper together, I will pick my lining, I will just pull it out and I will turn it over like this. So I will first put the neckline together, I will finish stitching the neckline and then I will pin it all around and I will stitch all the way down to the center back. Once I am done with that, I will use the opportunity to Finish closing the center back May fabric and I also repeat the same thing with my lining. When I'm stitching the center back, I use a different zipper foot. So this is the zipper foot that I use. You can see that so it always goes all the way in or all the way out. So when I'm stitching the center back, it's stitched very, very perfectly. I don't use this one because it doesn't really work for me. So I don't know if you guys are using this one. It doesn't really, really work for me. So I don't use this one. I prefer to use this zipper foot. So I'm going to show you a dress that I make so that when I talk about using this zipper foot, how the finished will look. So this is my dress that I make. It's the same dress, the same design, but this one there is no, I like, just hem the sleeve. So this is the center back. You can see the way the center back look. 
The finishing of the center back is just followed where the zipper end. There is no like one side is bigger or one side is kind of doesn't look so perfectly. So you can see how it is. This is the zipper and when you use that zipper fold, it just go along and you have a very beautiful finished. So go ahead and stitch your zipper at the center bar. Use your lining to cover the raw edges. Finish stitching the center bar. You can also use the opportunity to hem your dress. That will be the final look. I will show you the final look of my dress once I am done. This is the final look of my dress, step-by-step -step tutorial. Beautiful dress to make with this beautiful raffle sleeve. And I've also finished stitching the center back. This is how it is. I've stitched my zipper back and I just hem the dress. This is how it looks once you have done that. My dress is one to two years old child, but my labor is saying 18 to 24 months. One to two years old can wear it. 18 to 24 months can also wear the dress please press the like button please press the like button when you watch the video the like button you just go ahead and just use your finger to tap it like that you just press it that's all it's free and press the subscribe button subscribe button is also free turn on your notification button and select all option if youtube did not give you notif notification make sure to always go and check on my video if i have post any recent video when you press the like button that means that youtube will continue to push us out to the algorithm so that a lot of people can see my video if you're a new subscriber thank you so much if you're just stopping by before you exit that video remember to subscribe and also press the like button once you're done watching the video and also turn on your notification bell button thank you all so so much for watching our video we love you we love you we love you we appreciate you and have a wonderful day bye